Hey, what's up guys? It's I Like Fry and welcome to Season 1, Episode 2 of my Space Engineers Let's Play series. I do, apo first of all, I do apologize about the delay between the first video and the second. Uh, when I uh, initially uploaded the first video onto YouTube, as you can obviously tell, there was a lot of issues with the quality and I had not been able to diagnose it until today. I did have a few ideas when I uploaded my update video. However, turned out it all it was all because of the transcoding between my the resolution I recorded at and uh, the resolution which we it was uploaded in, which is 1366 by 768 to 8 uh, 1280 by 720, which is 720p. Now, first of all, um, now, funnily enough, because of this recording issue and upload issue, when I was playing around trying to change the settings, experiment, and figure out what was causing the issue, I did lose a lot of footage. I thought I had got a, I thought I had some rec my recording settings down pat. Turns out there wasn't, and I lost about three or four hours worth of footage working on the previous space station and building out various structures including a very large mining ship which I've dumped somewhere out in the wide world of space engineers in order for me to find and probably by the time I do find it it'll be nothing more than something to feed to a grinder because I built that one up in about two hours and uh, using the resources of a couple private sails and a mining carriage so I don't expect it to be too hard to continue building it to rebuild it from scratch now, in case you didn't notice, the entire station has been changed. I deleted the habitation section and moved up everything into the, uh, how do I call it, into the uh, central arms. As you can see, you got your medical bays, and I believe if it's on, if I'm on the right side, I put in a little bit of a clutch in order to fit uh, to get this. To face the sun, it is not a station as per Space Engineer's uh, vernacular. I wrote, I turned it into a ship, pointed it towards the sun. That way you get full power across the solar panels and use this landing gear to dock it to a single block station. Not the best way of doing it. Um, rotor, the um, powerable rotors came in just after um, yeah, it came in just after the I finished moving around the base and I didn't want to go through all the hassle of redocking it and rebuilding the entire solar panel array from scratch. So I just left it the way it was and something that can be changed later. You're gonna have to be moving ships and stuff onto the station anyway. So and um, when you do build this out into a much more expansive structure and it's nice the way it is. It faces the sun. It seems like a simple station that somebody would put in orbit of a world in order to mine asteroids as, you know, just a little bit of a basic structure. Yeah, as I was saying, a basic structure, cheap to build, where you could dump it around any body of asteroids and it'll be able to power, power itself in a reasonable pace and be able to provide support for the miners that are operating in the area. Now obviously that there will be bigger stations operating in this space engineers world. I uh, fun enough as I build them. I really do want to build like a full set of support and control structures in order to in order to supply any potential mining needs. Maybe a military base, maybe a more expansive structure that's meant to dock up with the mining carriages, unload the resources, probably a transport hub, or maybe I'll just rebuild the bit Deep Space Nine. <laughs> That'll be fun. So as you can see, the station has been completely changed. More power coming in from the extra solar panels and the change of the angle. And let's get to it. Now, first of all, I'm just going to wait for a ship to come in. I really don't like manual mining. It's something that we have all done. 
and to be honest it's it's always the first thing you see in every video so I really do not want to break out the mining drills I'd rather just do what I do best and hijack vessels and in case you didn't watch the update video this is the hole that was created when my one of my prototype mining drills uh, and ended up exploding. Uh, I believe that ship had nine. Yeah, nine large mining drills and I think it was because I only completed one of them was only completed up to the point where it would work and I pushed it way too far too fast. So I mean I had my I had the ship going full throttle into the asteroid and boom. Or as you would say, a big bad up uh, Boom! Yeah. There is another hole around here where. Just trying to find it. Where I did test out the mining drill. Uh, my second design, which had 25 of them, which took up a lot of resources and a lot of time to build. So, I didn't want to waste it. And, nope, nothing yet. Finding holes in these asteroids are is pretty hard, I must say. Unless this is it over here and I just completely missed it. Yeah, so this is what about 5 minutes with 25 large ship drills does to an asteroid. Digs a pretty big hole. I, if I remember right, the amount of resources it... Uh, another military transporter. Yeah, the amount of resources it collects is absolutely insane. Just from this... Uh, this iron vein here, I think I collected about 200,000 units. And you know what? I'm always willing to give it a shot, so let's see if I can capture this. When I c if I can capture this, this will be a great boon. It will also be a little bit overpowered, but I think it would be a great ending to the first video, just given the fact that I did delete all of my mining carriages and anything else that I did legitimately capture for in the last videos. So, yeah. I mean, if I remember right in, the, in what would have been the second, third, and fourth episodes of the original setting of the Let's Play series, I captured a military mine liner. Uh, mine liner uh, I believe it was the first one I ever caught. So. I was kind of sad to see that go. However, I have caught a few in the meantime in different worlds, just playing around, experimenting. Is that drifting? I wonder if that's drifting. It doesn't look like it's moving. Now it is moving, but I'm wondering why a second ship spawned at the same time. This is really weird. Because normally you don't get them spawning two at a time. But this ship is moving. Hmm. Oh, and the guns are really far out. Well, that must be a new change. I mean, the guns usually don't target you this far out. If anybody knows uh, that they set the military transporters up for 800 meters, please let me know. Because this just seems weird. And in case nobody has uh, captured one of these before, one of the best ways to do it is to... I've never actually done the military transporter before, but there are a few ways. Uh, a lot of it involves shooting off the guns and just flying in yourself. Another, another potential way involves flying into the center, activating your gravity very quickly, 
and getting behind a uh, protective panel that will protect you from the internal guns which you could then shoot at it using using a ref rifle that you should be carrying otherwise you could land on the missile launchers which I'll, is what I'm trying to do it is a very small target however if you manage to do so and stay on you will capture the ship by just on the mere fact that you can turn off the uh, the guns then you got another problem which is finding the uh, come on, just one second yes by finding the the little explosives and I think I own oh that was close that was close control panel missile turrets moving objects off moving objects off interior turrets off and what I also like to do is find any small thrusters no matter what they are or where they are and turn them off so I think I have it I think I actually have it see uh, that's the uh, panels that you can use to protect yourself and that's the internal gun that I was talking about but I think I might have been able to capture this this is the first one that I've ever at ever landed on properly this is insane I don't think it's the best way to start a uh, the first episode of a let's play series or or of a restart but you know what I'm not gonna complain but for four hours worth of footage I think this is great and completely unplanned as well all as I, all I was ever expecting was a uh, was a little mining carriage or something Wow. Yeah. Completely unexpected, but wow. I can't imagine the amount of resources this ship has. And I'm going to get this thing back home as soon as possible. Right. Yep. So, yeah, so yeah, if you turn off all the th small thrusters, at least on this military transporter, you don't go kaboom. And you still got enough thrusters spread across the ship in order to maneuver properly. Maybe not as fast as you can possibly go, but still at a reasonable clip. I mean, moving the military mine liner is a bitch and a half, if I must be honest. I mean, that thing, it doesn't move well. I guess the last thing to capture is now the, um, uh, at least in my list, is the mining, es uh, the military escort. Don't think I've ever caught one without shooting something off. Just the firing arcs on it are, are very well designed, and I don't think you can land on any of the turrets without getting shot at. But I might just end this episode here. I mean, this will provide me with enough resources for quite a while, at least on iron and steel, and anything like that. And yeah, if I end up capturing the business shipment, I will load it up in the second episode. But thank you for watching, and toodles!